Good morning, Park Hill South, and welcome to the South Side Scoop. I'm Nick Ruiz. And I'm Quinn Gotting. Well, Quinn, we certainly have a lot of talented musicians at this school. Oh, yeah, some of them did really well this weekend, so let's hit it off to that. Congratulations to the falling band members who received the state's highest honor, a one rating. Caitlin Traeger, Morgan Gilsdorf, and Josh Boster for Flute Trio. Symphonic Horn Trio included Chloe Ermacher, Megan Puder, and Grace Kubart. PHS Percussion Ensemble included Nick Eichens, Eli Gately, and Andrew Johnson. The second Flute Trio included Kirk Kimball, Taylor Ware, and Katrina Kultaflyder. Peter Coyne, Dalton Royals, Joe Peake, and Colin Miller were in the Symphonic Quartet. Emma Kubart, Seth Gorham, and Matthew Pugsley were in the Symphonic Trombone Trio. Soloists who received a one rating were Juliana Sue, Grace Cooper, Jaden Hermanson, Elizabeth Stoker, Megan Puder, Grace Kubart, Chloe Ermacher, Eli Gately, Emma Kubart, and Ian McGinnis. Also congratulations to the two ensembles and eight other soloists who received a two rating. From band to orchestra, congrats to the following one ratings from state. Piano trio of Vivian Huang, Elizabeth Anderson, and Justice Adams, the cello duet of Christopher Matheson and Carl Yarwood, the viola solo of Colin Ahrensberg, and the cello solo of Kylie DeClue. Congratulations to the other 11 students who received two ratings. We will announce the choir results from state on Monday. Now from bows to rackets, support Lady Panthers tennis at their car wash on Saturday, May 9th, from 9 a.m. until noon at Grade Elementary. Thanks, Panther fans. Are you an athlete? Well, you need to get your body checked first. The district pre-participation sports physicals will be offered at Park Hill South High School on Saturday, May 9th from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. These are available for any student interested in participating in 2015-2016 interscholastic athletics for the Park Hill School District and or any student needing a physical from a sport camp, scout camp, church camp, etc. The cost is $20. Participants must pick up a permission form in the office prior to coming to the event. Do you still need those last few A-plus hours? 15 A-plus students are urgently needed due to a scheduling problem. The PHHS A-plus office cannot fill volunteer positions for a family fun fest. Please contact Ms. Owens in the PHS A-plus office immediately if you are interested in signing up for the following activity. The family fun fest, 4.15 to 9 p.m., 4.75 A-plus hours, Friday, May 8th at Renner Elementary. Near Berry Road, Quick Trip, and the Fire Station. Two Park Hill South favorites, Chick-fil-A and football, will be working together on Tuesday, May 12th, as PHS Panther Football is hosting a Panther Spirit Night at Chick-fil-A on Berry Road from 5 to 8 p.m. Mention Panther Football when ordering, and the program will receive 10% of the proceeds. We hope to see you there for an evening of fun. Well, you know, Nick, while today might be Victory Day in Europe, April 17th was an important day for some South students. Bailey Wiley has more on that. Friday, April 17th, sounded like a normal day for most, but for others, it sounded like this. Or we won't be talking in between classes or during the free periods or during classes in our interactions with teachers, anything to promote academics, we will be talking. And that's not necessarily restricted because, in all honesty, it's supposed to restrict. When you want to talk, you probably don't want to respond when a teacher is asking a question. The Day of Silence is a day dedicated to helping bring awareness to what LGBT plus teens face. After following the rules for their silence, they head to a rally where they were loud and proud. Cars were honking when they saw the honk for equality signs. I know that a lot of GSA is planning to go. We've got a lot of drivers ready. But while participants were solely talking for academic reasons, they patiently awaited for later in the day where they break their silence. Sexuality is such a wide spectrum. To define it is really to be counterproductive to the, what the club is all about, which is accepting everything. We probably have, I don't know, 30-ish members, so probably 30 different sexualities. It's pretty individual per person. Because of these minor differences, they can build great friendships and bonds that will later turn into wonderful memories. Yeah, we're all pretty much there for each other, and we have all heard each other's stories, and so it is a community at this point. Shown acceptance, shown friendship. At Open Mic, where a few individuals went up and shared their stories, many people were very emotional, but most received cheers and applause. This will be a memory they'll share together for a long time. Okay. Signing off, I'm Bailey Wiley from the South Side Scoop. Wow, thanks for that, Bailey. Today's birthdays include Iola Benson, Jessica Carolyn, Spencer Denny, Zion Harris, Blake Higgins Tiaman, Kaylee Patrick, Donna Shabazi, Gavin Anderson, Denver Berryman, Miranda Glass, and Mrs. Ware, the custodian. And for today's lunches, we have harvest lasagna and garlic breadstick, bacon turkey burger with cheese, breaded mozzarella sticks, and the premium meal is the pasta bar. Thanks for watching the Southside Scoop. I'm Quinn Gotting. And I'm Nick Ruiz.